It's not possible with all the inputs from the defence and from the prosecution that the judgment would be made by AI. AI would make a determination removing any real human judges in the process. Well, the reality is, what does a, what does a judge have to consider, right? Ultimately, what a judge is looking at is the evidence, the evidence that's given to them in writing and the evidence that comes up in court. What's to stop all of that being put into a big mix and then pulling out an answer? <laughs> It will be based on precedence, you know, legal cases that have heard similar cases previously, as well as the evidence. You put those things together and you ask for an answer. Or you might get options and maybe the judge selects the option that looks the best. Judges can take years, so outside of the criminal context, it's a bit different in crime because people need to work out their fate, right? But in commercial cases, for example, judgments can take a year, two years sometimes because of the volume of the evidence, the transcripts, the affidavits, the expert reports, the, all of that. You throw all that to a mix, and half an hour later, you might get an answer, right? Mm. So, I mean, I, I would be very sad. I think it, it's the human element in the justice system, I think, is very important because it's it, it brings in our own values and, and values as they morph over time. That will disappear if, if robots start to make those answers and, and, and do those jobs. But really, I mean, it's happening everywhere. Mm. What's to say the legal system is, is immune to it? Mm.